Uh, let me ask the most ridiculous question. You think P equals NP? Wow. I don't know. I mean, I would say, I, I know there are enough people who have very strong interest in trying to show that it is. <laughs> I'm talking about government agencies. <laughs> for, <laughs> for security purposes. For security yes. purposes. And most computer scientists, which would say, believe that P equals NP. Um, my question almost like, this is back to our aliens discussion. You want to think outside the box, the, the low probability event, what is the world, what kind of discoveries would lead us to 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 prove that P does not equal to NP. Like there could be giant misunderstandings or gaps in our knowledge about computer science, about theoretical computer science, about computation, which allow us to think like flatten all problems. Yeah, so I don't know the answer to this question. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's very interesting, but I actually, I, I know, I, let's put it this way. By being at Carnegie Mellon and being around the theoretical computer scientists, I know enough about what I don't know <laughs> to say I'm the wrong to be person. Humble <laughs> I'm the, the wrong face. person to answer this, this question. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's a great one. Well, Scott Aronson, who's now here at UT Austin, he used to be at MIT, puts the probability of um, P, P not equals to NP at 3%. He put, it's, I, you know, I always love it when you ask, it's very rare in science and in, in academics because you're, because most folks are humble in, in the face of the mystery, the uncertainty of everything around us to have the, the both the humor and the guts to say, um, like, what are the chance that there's um, aliens in our galaxy, intelligent alien civilizations? As opposed to saying, I don't know, it could be, you know, it could be zero. It could be depending on the fact you're saying, it's two point five percent. There's something very pleasant about just having uh, it's the the it's the number thing. Um, it's power to the number. It's just like forty two. It's like why forty? I don't know, but it's a powerful number. And then everything. This is the power of the human psychology. Is once you have the number forty two, it's not that the number has meaning, but because it's placed in a book with humor around it it has the meme effect of actually creating reality. I mean, you could say that 42 has a strong contribution of helping us colonize Mars because it created, it gave the whatever existential crisis to many of us, including Elon Musk when he was young, you know, reading a book like that. And then the, now 42 is now part of his humor that he doesn't shut up about, he's constantly <laughs> joking about. And that humor is spreading through our minds and somehow this like silly number just had an effect. In that same way, after Scott told me like the 3% chance, it's stuck in my head. And I think it's been having a ripple effect in everybody else. The believing that P is not equal to NP, Scott almost as a joke saying it's 3%, is make is actually motivating a large number of researchers to work on it. Three percent is high. It's very high because for the potential impact that that would have. <laughs> <laughs> but then three percent is not that high because it's only you know it's a, like we're not very good. I feel like humans are only able to really think about like one percent, fifty percent, and we kind of. I think a lot of people around three percent up to fifty percent, like <laughs> in our minds, like three percent. Like this, it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> and it could happen is like, yeah, like half the time it'll probably happen. So we're not very good at that. That's that's the other thing with the pandemic is uh, we're not the exponential growth that we also talked about offline uh, is uh, something that we can't quite intuit. And that's something we probably should if we were to predict the future, to anticipate the future and to understand how to create technologies that let, let us sort of control the future.